What's going on guys? I'm Jehovah. I hope you're enjoying the Let's Plays here on this channel. I hope you enjoyed GTA 3. Uh, it took us a while. It was a little bit of a struggle at certain points, but we got through it and it was a hell of a lot of fun. This is the first episode of Vice City. Vice City being one of my favorite games of all time. Definitely probably my favorite GTA. Uh, so, so, so much fun. Really looking forward to playing it through with you guys. If you enjoy, please show this video some love and uh, if you guys want to keep uh, if you want me to keep going through the GTA series, uh, let me know. I, uh, I'm having fun with it. So I love you guys. Please show the first episode some love and enjoy the Let's Play. Oh my god, yes. Yes. Video killed the radio star. Yes! Vice City! So pumped right now, dude. Fuck yeah. Let's just watch the intro. Yes! 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 So much fun, guys. So much fun is gonna be had. All right, that's enough of the intro. I'm already over it. We gotta just, we gotta get into it. Look at that loading screen. Vice City. Dude, somebody said we need a Vice City 2 Rockstar. Yeah, if fucking Rockstar announced a Vice City 2, I would lose my fucking mind. I really would. Your player settings are damaged. They will be replaced with default ones. Okay. Alright, whatever you say. Marco's Bistro, Liberty City, 1986. Tommy Vecetti? <laughs> Shit. Didn't they they'd ever let him out? He kept his head down. Helps people forget. People will remember soon enough. When they see him walking down the streets of their neighborhoods, it will be bad for business. Well, what are we gonna do, Sonny? We treat him like an old friend and keep him busy out of town, okay? We've been talking about expanding down south, right? Vice City is 24 karat gold these days. The Colombians, the Mexicans, hell, even those Cuban refugees are cutting themselves a piece of some nice action. But it's all drugs, Sonny. Sorry. None of the families will touch that shit. Times are changing. The families can't keep their backs turned while our enemies reap the rewards. So, we send someone down to do the dirty work for us and cut ourselves a nice, quiet slice, okay? Okay. Who's our contact Scott down there? Ken Rosenberg. Schmuck of a lawyer. How's he gonna hold Vicetti's leash? We don't need him to. We just set him loose in Vice City. We Look give him a little cash to get started, okay? Give him a few months. Then we go down. Pay him a little visit, right? See how he's doing. That's one of the main reasons this game kicks so much fucking ass is the soundtrack. The soundtrack on this game is orgasmic. I need to find, I think they sell a CD for the Vice City soundtrack. Need to get that. Hey, hey, guys, it's uh, Ken Rosenberg here. Hey. What up, Ken? Hey, great, hey. Well, uh, I'm gonna drive you guys to the meet, okay? Now, I've talked to the suppliers, and they are very uh, keen to start a business relationship. So, uh, if all goes well, we should uh, be doing very nicely for ourselves, which is, you know, good. Okay, so, they're brothers, okay? One operates the, uh, the business, and the other one does the flying. Uh, Vice City Docks. Okay, that's them and the chopper. All right, here's the deal. They want a straight exchange on open ground. All right? Okay, stay tight. Let's go. Got it? 100% pure grade A Colombian, my friend. Let me see it. Disco shit. The greens? 10s and 20s. Used. I think we have a deal, my friend. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, shit. No. Fuck. <laughs> Uh, 
I poke my head out of the gutter for one freaking second and fate shovels shit in my face. Go get some sleep. What are you gonna do? I'll drop by your office tomorrow and we can start sorting this mess out. Alright, first order of business. Wait. Uh, oh, there's a map on the start screen on this now. I forgot. They finally smartened up after that. Okay. Uh, display controls? No. Invert. That's on. Credits. Oh, shit. There we go. Okay. Trails off. Gotta have trails off. Subtitles on for you guys. Good, good. Good, good, good. And I believe that's it. Why Game looks you? ten times better once you turn trails off. I don't know who. I don't know why the idea was that. I don't, I don't know whatever. Yes, look at this. So it, it was amazing the differences between three and Vice City. Like they improved so much. They took a great fucking concept with three, and they just knocked it out of the park with Vice City. IMO. Also, how is the game volume right now? Is it super loud? You're programming with a message from the State Department. Is it super loud? I feel like it's super loud. We're gonna need to turn sound effects down to like right there. Something like that. Is that good, guys? If you guys didn't see the trails, trails made like a motion blur behind everything. I don't know. I just want to make sure you guys hear a good mix of the game. Just fine, good, a little loud, too low, fine, whatever. It was fine. What the fuck? Everybody's opinion is completely different. I can't have the music too loud. Did all it matched. When not on a mission, you can save your progress by collecting a cassette. Walk into the pink marker to continue. So that's where we save. Tommy! Tommy! It's Tommy. been too long. I know, I know. You're just overwhelmed with emotion. Fifteen years. Seems like only yesterday. I guess that's a perspective thing. Hey, doing time for the family is no piece of cake, but the family looks after its own, okay? So how'd the deal go down? You sitting on some white gold? Look, Sonny, we were set up. The deal was an ambush. Harry and Lee are dead. You better be kidding me, Tommy! Tell me you still got the money. No, Sonny. I don't have the money. I don't have the money, that man. That was my money, Tommy! My money! You better not be screwing me, Tommy, because so you know mad. I'm not a man to be screwed with. Wait, Sonny. You have my personal assurance that I'm going to get you your money back. And the drugs. And I'm going to mail you the dicks of those responsible. Hey, I already know that. You're not a fool, Tommy, but I warn you. Neither am I. If it was anybody else, you'd be dead already. But because it's you. Because we got history, I'm gonna let you handle this. Look, Sonny, you got my word. I'll be in touch. Throw that fucking phone, Ray Liotta. That's another reason this game kicks ass. Because Ray Liotta is the fucking voice. Find the lawyer's office, follow the L blip on the radar. I think I'm still gonna turn audio down a little bit. Something like that, guys. I don't want it to be too loud for the, for the videos. D91, you're in here, buddy. What do you think about the audio? What, are we good? Or are we... It's a neat adjusting anyways. Did you guys... I'm, I, I, <laughs> I hate to say it, but you guys that are just like, too loud! That doesn't help me at all because I don't know what that means. Like, you have to tell me what's loud. My voice? Or game audio or the game music or like I have to adjust particular things you can't just say too loud oh yeah, that's right we got to go on the back side of this fucking Lester dude our crooked ass lawyer audio seems fine all right man go get some sleep he says <laughs> 
I have been sitting in this chair all night with the that lights chair. off drinking coffee. This is a disaster. We are so screwed, man. These gorillas, listen to me, are gonna come down here and rip my head off. It's re ridiculous. I did not go to law school for this. Okay, now what the hell are we gonna do? Shut up, sit down, relax. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. You're gonna find out who took our cocaine, and then we're gonna kill them. Fuck yeah, dude. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh, there's this retired colonel, Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez. He's the one that helped me set up this deal well away from Vice City's established thugs, okay? Now listen, he's holding his party out in the bay on his expensive yacht, and all of Vice City's big players are gonna be there, okay? I have an invite. Of course I have an invite. But there's no way that I'm going out there sticking my head out the door. No I way, not I told you, happen. shut up. I'll go myself. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I like 1978 too, but you know, this isn't gonna be a beer and strippers do. I mean, no offense, but I think that you might turn heads on the runway for the wrong reason. What's wrong with the way I'm dressed? Okay, look, here. Stop by Raphael's. Tell him I sent you. He'll make you look respectable. Okay, go, come on. Who's that guy think he is? Now I gotta dress like a chump as well as hang out with them? I like this shirt. All right, we gotta go get some new threads from Raphael's clothes shop. God, this game is just so, the controls are a little bit better. It's everything, hmm. I hope the frame rate isn't as much of an issue with this game. What is that right there? Information, okay, and then just a heart. It's like, there's a little bit of frame rate issue, but I haven't had like a serious seize up like like it was doing, and the pan sprays show up on the mini-map and everything. They added icons to the mini-map. That was a huge thing. A huge, huge thing. So here we're at Raphael's, and isn't there... Oh, no, maybe not. Okay. Let's get some threads, bitches. Hmm, nice bike. So take... These broken wings, I learned to fly again. No fucking way. I saw people in the chat saying it and I thought they were just trolling. The fucking license plate is 1738, dude. What? 1730, is it all the license plates in this game? There's another one. 1738. Hey, what the fuck, dude? That's hilarious. Good shit. Good find, viewers. Good find. All right. We're going to the colonel's boat or some shit. Holy fucking 1738. All right. Here we go. Ooh, there's an ammunition over there. I saw it pop up. So take... These broken wings. Now I'm gonna have that song stuck in my head all day. Fuck. Here we go. Yep, back here. We did missions for this guy for a while, I think. I remember just coming back here quite a bit. Oh, yeah. Look, there's nice ass and furnaces back here and shit already. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, check out that waiter. Waitress. Oh, oops, oops, waitress. I understand you are here on the behalf of Mr. Rosenberg. Yeah. I hope any recent problems have not affected his health or uh, mental well-being, Mr. Versetti. He's Tommy Versetti. Uh, agoraphobia. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Tommy Versetti. I just want my merchandise. Ah, it's an unfortunate set of circumstances for all involved. Of course, I have initiated my own lines of inquiry, but such a delicate matter will take time. Perhaps we'll talk later. Meanwhile, let me introduce you to my daughter. Mercedes! Oh, Mercedes. I forgot Paramia. about Mercedes. Could you look after our guest while a I attend to the of your relations? Of course, daddy. Please, excuse me. Mercedes? You try living with it. Anyway, let me point out some of our more distinguished guests. 
That's our Congressman Alex Shrub with Rising Silicon Star, Candy Oh Star. my hey, God, the band. You, Laura? No? Well, uh, unfortunately, she's in Alabama. This is Candy. And over there, we have the Vice City Mamba's star titan, BJ. Always the charmer. I blocked down on him, and then I put him in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Well, now, I'm looking at some prime... And risk. that poolside amphibian is Jez Torrent, lead singer with... Love Fist. Yeah, can I tell you? Do you know the missions for Love Fist? I remember are ridiculous. Let me tell you, it does not involve a battle. If you know what Important. And the chatty trio that sleeping sweat gland is Papa's right hand gimp, Gonzalez. And the other two are Pastor Richards and pseudo intellectual film director Fish Steve all Scott. All the throws of with the Nipho invaders when the giant shark comes in and just bites their dicks off. Ah, now, you never saw anything like that before. Colonel, your party's as ever a triumph. <laughs> I can only apologize. Well, oh, then other amigo. How do we find you? <laughs> Our business is very trying. Barbarians at the gate. A time for rewarding one's friends and liquidating one's enemies, amigo. Who's the loudmouth? Ricardo Diaz. He's Mr. Cole. Mercedes! Mr. Coke. Oh, I was just taking my friend back into town. Another time, Ricardo. Ricardo, let's go Let's get the out of here. Actually, take me to the pole position. Drinks. Sorry, guys. Just updating something real quick. All right. Here we go. We got to take Mercedes across town real quick. No big deal. Just gonna just borrow this Lambo. Will you be working for my father? Oh maybe. yeah, baby. Do you mind me resting my hand in your lap? Whoa. Maybe. maybe. So <laughs> difficult having a rich and powerful father. Vamos. I re it's bad when I remember lines of dialogue from this game. Like. Alright. Excuse me. See you around, handsome. Okay, Mercedes. I'm sure you will. Hundred bucks? Shit, we working cheap, guys. We got a hundred dollar. Oh fuck, wasn't watching the road. Street outfit delivered to safe house. All right, let's go ahead and go. Oh, oh, my Lanta. Okay, all right, we can't. I can't handle the horsepower right now. Shit. Just trying to get back to Lester. Do this next mission. We're out of touch. Let's see. That's too far back. All right, we'll stick with this one. Here we go. Well, I hope you're having a good time, because I'm going out of my mind with worry here. What did you find out? That there are more criminals in this town than in prison. We need a lead from the streets. Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. Ah, I got it. Okay, there's this slimy, some music industry slime ball. Goes by the name of Kent Paul. Anyway, he's got his nose so far up most of Vice City's ass that if anybody knows the whereabouts of 20 keys of coke, it's this guy, all right? He's always at the Malibu. I'll go pay him a visit. Take it easy now. All right. I know you saw me. I didn't see shit, you got lady. Me here. What are you gonna do? You got no Yo, you better be careful. Kid. Oh yeah, Vice City was the introduction of the Fagio. There's the Fagio right there. The Fagio stayed in the game since Vice City, I think. Fuck you, dude. Damn, bitch. Turn up. Fuck. Damn. All right. Going to do the mission. Holy shit. Just witnessed a traffic accident. Ba ba da ba 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 ding ding. Ba ba da ba 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 da. All right. We kind of went the long way, but uh, no big deal. We'll get there. We'll get there. Oh yeah, the club, the club. I forgot about the club. The Malibu club. 
Where'd you pop up from? I've been looking for a bird like you for ages, mate. You know what I'm looking am? for some English guy. Kent Paul. Kent Paul, mate. Yeah, I'm the governor, Andy. I'll sort things out. You know what I mean? I'll treat you. Whatever you want, I'll get you, girl. Don't you worry about a thing, mate. Get lost, honey. Oi, 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 oi. You Kent Paul? I'm a friend of Rosenberg's. Rosenberg? Rosenberg? Oh, that bonkers ambulance chaser. That guy could defend an innocent man all the way to death row. <laughs> Get another drink, bruv. But he's a comedian. Listen to me. I'm missing 20 keys and a lot of cash. Drugs, mate? It's a mugs game. What do you know about it? Oi, oi, well, what I was coming to was, there's some chef come trumpet shifter who deals that kitchen of Hotel and Ocean Drive. He's been looking real pleased with himself lately. You could go and check him out. I will. And I'll be seeing you around. Ken. Yeah, that's right. Go and walk away, you mug. I knock you spark out. Give me a drink. And where's that slut? Where's that slot?